Hi, my name is Sam Dhaneshekaran and welcome to this uh, new database video series which is Oracle 12C database new features. Oracle 12C has some exciting new features. One among them which I consider uh, as one of the important new features is pluggable database which is a radical change from the current architecture. So what is pluggable database? So Oracle 12C introduces a new feature called pluggable database. So here the Oracle metadata and the user data are totally separated into two sections. Right? So when you take a Oracle database. Let's just say you know you install an Oracle database. Uh, when you install an Oracle database, by default it comes with Oracle metadata. Okay, I'll explain later uh, what is Oracle metadata. But then just assume when you install a new database, uh, before loading any user data, it has Oracle metadata, and then we load the user data, probably in different user schemas. Okay, so this whole thing is separated into two sections. One is called container DB or CDB, which will hold the Oracle metadata. The other one is called pluggable DB, which will hold the user data and some user metadata. I'll explain why this is needed and why I think this as one of the important features of 12c okay so let's take a look at the current uh, configuration or uh, uh, the architecture that is in use up until oracle 11g okay so what happens in a regular database oracle's metadata and users application data are integrated. Let's say this is the database. Okay, and this is the instance which is residing on the memory. This instance controls this database. Okay, so when we install a fresh, a new database, right, so it comes with set of Oracle provided data which we can call them as call it as Oracle metadata which are needed for the database to function okay so once we create an empty database even though we call it as empty right it still has some Oracle provided data which we can call it as Oracle metadata. Okay, uh, example would be the objects owned by sys schema, system schema. They generally come under Oracle metadata. Okay, so uh, so once we install a fresh database, then we configure user schemas and we load user data into it okay so this is the current architecture so we have a database which is controlled by an instance and the database has Oracle metadata and the user data which are tightly integrated okay that's the key which are tightly integrated okay so now let's see what is a pluggable database okay now let's just say there is a situation where uh, we need to create another database on the same server okay so we need to create another database on the same server so we have this as the server okay we already have one database running 
let me call database one and we need to create another database called database two so it's instance one okay instance two okay why would we need to create another database L let's just say we provide data to clients and uh, we would like to provide data to two clients so we provide one database to client one and we provide another database to client 2. Why? Mostly for security. We don't want the data that is being used by this client to be seen by this client. So how would we make sure of it? By entirely creating two different databases. Right? There are other ways, you know, we can have a set of schemas and really uh, control the access by the privileges and everything. But, you know, there is always a possibility of, you know, things could go wrong and uh, the clients could end up seeing other, each other's data. So, to avoid that, we create separate databases. Okay. And... Uh, we give access to client 1, client 2 here. So let's just take a closer look of what happens here. So we start instance 1 to manage database 1. So it occupies some space in the memory for its SGA. Let me just call it SGA1 as well as it needs uh, CPU power as well as memory for the the SMON process, PMON process and other background processes. So we would need for the second database, we would need one more set of almost the same thing like SGA2 and all other background processes. Okay. So this this is how up until now, which is 2013 and with Oracle up until Oracle 11G version. This is the current architecture. And if we create users in one database, it will be tightly integrated with Oracle's metadata. And if we create users in second database, it will be tightly integrated with the metadata of database 2. Okay. So here, you know, we are occupying more resource and uh, let's look at some uh, uh, difficulties, right? Uh, there might uh, be a situation where we may need to copy, clone this database uh, by a copy from this database, okay? Uh, what do we do in that case? We export the data out and then we remove the data from here and then we load it okay so we have to go through the, the the cumbersome export i wouldn't say cumbersome but then again it's a tedious process uh, mostly after loading the data we got to set the the privileges and security and everything right okay so uh, copying cloning uh, it needs uh, more attention as well as uh, you know more processes tasks okay and uh, mostly, right, uh, with this setup, per client, we provide one database, one database per client. So, in simple terms, I can call one database, one database per tenant. Okay, again here, another database per tenant. Okay, so now with this uh, latest uh, couple of technological things that are evolving or with the latest 
uh, trend where uh, everything is becoming cloud um, where uh, infrastructure is being provided as a service or software is being provided as a service right we would need to have multiple tenants in the same database seamlessly with no compromise in the security so that would allow us for scaling as well as instant provision of systems database systems for multiple clients okay so this is where the pluggable database concept comes in so what happens in a pluggable database is oracle separates the metadata oracle metadata right that sys and uh, system objects as well as a uh, couple of other things like uh, you know control files redo files and everything it puts them into a common section called container db okay which is kind of like a common section which houses oracle's meta link and then it allows users to create pluggable dbs where users can create their own schemas and their user accounts everything okay so what happens is earlier the user accounts and uh, all of the security access control are taken care of by this oracle metalink whereas here uh, you know some user meta data right this is a user metadata some user metadata goes into its own pluggable db and the users can create their own data here okay so uh, with this setup you know if anyone wants to bring one more pluggable db for another client it's very simple just bring in one more pluggable db right or create one more uh, let me call pdb2 okay this is pdb1 one more uh, pluggable db and just install it there create it there okay so we have one sga running we have one set of those background processes running all right uh, we have uh, you know one instance running right sorry this is sga sga is part of instance and background process os process running and then we have one container db which how uh, houses oracle meta data and then we have pluggable dbs this is a radical change from the existing configuration which is up until 11g okay so the advantages let's say you are a data provider and your data has like some 15 schemas right and then you are providing that to uh, client 1 okay so you create your 15 schemas here and plug it here provide it to client 1 and client 2 comes okay uh, you can either go to a new machine but the uh, the the thing that we are trying to solve is uh, nowadays you know the servers are so powerful they can handle multiple databases so what do we do here for client 2 it's very simple you provide another pluggable database to client 2 each will still be controlled by this container db the set of user accounts here will not interfere with the user accounts here and 
they can have the same schema. Like here, if I have a schema called uh, uh, you know, app app1, I can provide the same schema name app1 to client2, right? So this is basically the application that the provider, which is let's say you know a company or me, you know, designed, and I provide this application to client one. I can provide a copy of it to client two from the same machine controlled by Oracle MetaLink. I mean, sorry, Oracle Metadata, single metadata, with uh, no compromise in security. The users from here will not be able to access that. Okay, so what this provides multi tenancy. So, meaning that I can add more clients as I prefer. Of course, you know, I have to be well within the, the, the limits of hardware resource, but then I can add multiple clients under one database which is controlled by one container DB uh, which has more pluggable DBs. So this is very helpful in software as service platform or cloud platform or you know managed applications or on-demand platform where you know uh, uh, the users would be able to configure and create what database they need like in cloud in cloud everything uh, the user should be able to uh, create uh, and use the resources they need okay so this is a, a radical change from the, the existing uh, 11g database and this is very exciting thank you for watching this video